Jennifer Coolidge thought wearing a bathing suit on the White Lotus was scary, but an Alexandra Dandario bikini realization grounded her. Jennifer Coolidge, who starred in The White Lotus on HBO for two seasons, has gained some notoriety despite being well-known before. Tanya McCoyd Hunt's role as a super wealthy mourning daughter who later became newlywed earned her a lot of admiration from the show's viewers, as well as an unexpected award season suite for the former Two Broke Girls star. However, Coolidge's fear of maybe spending a lot of time in a swimming suit for the series was ultimately calmed by her discovery of Alexandra Daddario's bikini. What did Jennifer Coolidge, star of The White Lotus, have to say about being afraid to appear in a bathing suit on the show? It's no longer a secret that a lot of individuals, including those of us who are well-known, attractive, and brilliant, have problems with our bodies. In terms of appearing on camera in a bikini for The White Lotus, the same is true of Jamie Stifler, who played American Pie's well-known Miles. Tanya's job came up approximately six months into the pandemic, and Coolidge acknowledged that she wasn't initially planning to accept it when she spoke with The Hollywood Reporter for the publication's Drama Actress Roundtable. She admitted that she'd been eating pizza pretty much all day, every day, believing we were all going to die during COVID, so she'd given up on any boundaries, adding that show creator Mike White had informed her it would be on a beach in bathing suits, adding, Yes, feel free to do as you please. Whatever you do, walk around naked, get arrested, it will all end. But as time went on, the show started to take on a life of its own, and I started to hear from business people. When I looked down at my phone after hearing the tiny ding in my New Orleans bedroom at around 2 in the morning, it said, Are you afraid? Mike had sent it. He was aware. However, I still wasn't going to do it, and I believe actors experience this frequently. You moan about not getting the role of your dreams your entire life. Then when it does come along, you say, yeah, I can't do it. I consumed a lot of pizza. You can mess it up. Thank God I have a best friend who has recently caught on to my BS. She said, you are an idiot, knowing full well what I was doing. I won't permit you to carry out this. Whether they have training in the dramatic arts or not, I don't think many individuals would be eager to don a bathing suit and parade around on camera. Many find it frightening, and some won't even visit a community pool in their everyday lives when there isn't a film team present. We both place a lot of pressure on ourselves to seem a certain way for particular apparel and frequently succumb to social pressure to keep a very precise body type before bearing any skin. So Coolidge's worries were justified. Claire Danes and Jennifer Garner both spoke out at this point, with the former querying her source of fear and the latter declaring that she would be scared of putting on a bathing suit as well. Coolidge answered, I don't know what I was thinking because they have Sidney Sweeney and Alexandra Daddario wearing such swimming costumes. I guess it was self-hatred and a lack of preparation. If you've watched both seasons of the unexpected drama, you probably already know that Tanya rarely appears in a swimsuit, at least, not one that isn't covered by a stunning kaftan, a long flowing dress, or some other kind of wrap or full cover-up, which meant that most of her fears were unjustified. She made a point of mentioning that she had accomplished co-stars like Sidney Sweeney and Alexander Daddario to don tiny bikinis. In fact, a notorious white bikini sequence from season one starring Dad Dario and Sweeney produced such a commotion that people were still talking about it when the second season premiered. The pair even recreated the scene because of how well-known it had become.